Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven and welcome back to my channel Shopping and Scents. And that tail that just went by is Malcolm, my pug, making an appearance. And I just can't seem to get my outfit straight today. So anyway, it's a hot and sweaty day and it was a pretty crappy, stressful day. So um, I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. And it always cheers me up when I talk to you. I find it very therapeutic. So I'm gonna show you some snacks and stuff that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. Nothing too fascinating or exciting, but you guys seem to like these videos and I like making them. So I'm gonna show you what I bought. And then I will give you a preview of a possible future video that I will be doing. So. I went to the Dollar Tree today. There he is again. I went to the Dollar Tree today to get some snacks because um, sometimes I'll have guests over and well, it'll be like a movie night or, um, you know, we're just lounging about loafing, loafing like bread. Uh, and, you know, they'll be like, do you have any snacks? Do you have anything to munch on? Do you have any like, you know, whatever. So I decided to get some snacks. I didn't get like, candy candy because i know if it's in the house i will eat it that's why i don't have snacks in my house i don't keep snacks because i know i will eat them so to prevent from overeating i don't keep excess food in my apartment but anyway so i got some snacks that are not really really bad for you like they're not candy bad but anyway this is a long introduction so i'll show you what i got i tried these once before recently uh these are the sun best <clears throat> Sun Best Pastry Crisps, and they're like these little cracker things. The The ones that I got last time were like a berry flavored, which is what I wanted, uh, but they did not have it. They only had the chocolate, the triple chocolate, um, and there's two pastries in each bag, right? I think I said that. Um, so two biscuits per serving, 100 calories. It's not that bad. 16 grams of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm going to try not to eat these. Total fat, 2 grams of fat. So not horrible, but the sugar is still really high. Um, and how many are there? There are four pouches? It seemed like there would be more in here. No, eight pastry crisps, two per pouch, so that's four. I don't know. I don't think, is that like a good deal? Uh, four? Four for a dollar, it's not that bad, I guess, for eight crisps. This is naturally flavored, no artificial colors or dyes, no artificial flavors. So, Sun Best Pastry Crisps. Then I picked up these. This is a repeat buy for me. Um, these are like the Nutri-Grain bars that you would get in the supermarket, but a whole lot cheaper. These are the fruit and grain bars. They come in strawberry, blueberry, and apple cinnamon. I chose the strawberry again, although I could have gotten the blueberry, but I was in a strawberry mood. So there are four in each of these, four cereal bars, three grams of fat, 140 calories for one bar. And these are individually wrapped as I remember from last time. And these have 12 grams of sugar. So again, high in sugar, not so bad on the fat and calories, but still not super healthy for you. But anyway, like I said, guests come over and I have nothing to offer them. So I figure I stock up a little bit. Now watch, I'll probably eat all that stuff myself before I even get a guest to come over. Um, and then this is really, not good for you. Um, so this is the Welch's fruit snacks. Um, it says fruit is our number one ingredient. Well, I certainly hope so. Um, it says made with real fruit. So this is 80 calories and 11 grams of sugar and no, no saturated fat. Does it have any fat? It's like gummies, no fat. And there's four pouches in here. So these, I mean, are, I don't know if I'm really getting a deal on this stuff because the portions are so small. Anyway, then I needed bowls. So, cause I, I don't use bowls that often, but these only come eight in a package. So I think I mentioned before, if you get the brand X 
uh, generic, you get 10 bowls. If you get the solo brand, you get eight bowls. So I, I get the solo brand. I don't know. So I got two packages of eight bowls, which I use for cereal or if I'm making myself some tuna. Then I needed some uh, utensils because I don't like to wash dishes. Even though I have a dishwasher there that I will never use because um, I've never had a dishwasher in my entire life. This is my first one and I just, I don't know, the thing scares me. I don't want to use it. I got a dish rack right there where I would wash any dishes should I have dishes, which I use old paper anyway. So um, this is 48 pieces of cutlery for a dollar. Spoons, forks, knives. They sell the spoons by themselves. They sell the forks by themselves. But the thing that I needed, the knives, they don't sell by themselves. So I had to get another pack of multiples. Maybe they do sell them by themselves, but I haven't seen them. I got another pack of the Hefty Party On uh, cups, 12 cups, 18 ounce cups um, in the red. So I'm always running out of those. I got more snacks. These, I this is a repeat buy for me. This is the breakfast, this is cinnamon and brown sugar biscuits. The last time I got blueberry, I really liked the blueberry. I would have preferred to get that again, but they did not have it. They only had the cinnamon and brown sugar biscuits. Um, and there are how many of these in here? This is by the So Bisque Company. 115 calories per pack. There are six packs, five grams of sugar. So that's not that bad. I forget how many is in a pack. I think there's two biscuits in a pack. I'm not sure. Yes, there's two biscuits per pack. So this is actually better. Two biscuits per pack, and there's only five grams of sugar. But this has more fat. This has got four grams of fat. But anyway, so this this is less sugar. So if I tend to temp ah, if I am tempted to eat one of these snacks, I'll go for the less sugar one. Then I got, what else did I get? I got these razors. Now I know you you ladies especially are gonna say, why would you buy razors from the Dollar Tree? Let me tell you something. Okay. These razors, I've used them before. This is a repeat buy. I like the men's ones, the, yeah, men's brand one, the blue ones better, but I will take the pink. It's the six blade ones. I made, I love the men's ones. They I don't get chopped up, you know, or anything. And this is Women's Superior Disposable Razors. These are actually really good. These are by the Assured brand. But if you can get the blue as opposed to the pink, I recommend the blue. But um, yeah, I think they they are less because um, you know if you, <coughs> especially ladies, you know if you buy a cheap razor, you're gonna get nicks and cuts and unpleasantness. These are pretty good. So, and they last a while. You can use them multiple times and they last without getting all gunked up. Is that the right word? Messed up, gunked up. Um, then I, I wanted to try this because it just was so pretty. This is a concealer brush, but I'm gonna use it as an eyebrow brush. It's a, it's a unicorn brush. So it's like, it's so pretty it, it fades from teal into like the purple and pink and it's got the unicorn and i've been using the same eyebrow brush for forever so i figured okay one impulse buy item then let me get to that part last then i got a bottle of soda i don't drink soda i don't like anything that's carbonated because it hurts my stomach. I don't like carbon. I don't like carbonated beverages. I prefer to stay away from them. I usually drink either water or diet iced tea or diet fruit punch or something. A beverage that is non not carbonated. But like I said, for guests, I should have something that is non-dietetic because most of my friends do not like diet anything. They say the NutraSweet tastes funny. They don't like it. They complain. They'll they taste awful, you know, because I keep in my apartment what I drink. So anyway, I got this big bottle 
this is, is this three liters? It says 93 fluid ounces. I feel like this is bigger than two liters. I don't know. It's, I look, I got the one, the one that's got the messed up label. So this is stars and stripes, lemon lime. So this is like the brand X equivalent of Sprite. Is this made by Greenbrier? No, this is made, manufactured for cop beverages. <clears throat> yeah. So this will, I'll have to have my guests try it out and tell me <laughs> how badly it's, it tastes. So Stars and Stripes, they did have other flavors. They have like the Coca-Cola one. They have the orange one. They have the red one. Uh, I don't think they had grape. I'm not sure. Uh, and then they had like the regular Diet Cola. I don't know if I said that. But I, like I said, I would have picked up the Diet Cola, but I just don't like fizzy drinks. Okay, and then I'm at my last item. And this will segue into my preview of what possibly I will do next. So I got a Certificate of Achievement frame because um, I hung up something in my apartment, a certificate that I had, and the frame fell off the wall and broke. So I had to get another frame. <clears throat> Which brings me to my preview of my rant video that I may do. Why these things suck. These are command hooks by the 3M company. Are you listening 3M? Your command hooks suck. Okay, so, and, your command strips also suck. Not as badly, but they still suck. Okay. So you want to hang up stuff on your wall, but you don't want to put a nail in the wall. You get this thing. It's called a command hook. And it's basically you... I don't want to get into this whole big thing now, but... Actually, I'm not going to get into it now. You'll have to wait for the next video. All I'll, I'll tell you is... They only work about <clears throat> 25 to 30 percent of the time and these may be about 50 percent of the time okay so I have a bone to pick with these things I will talk about that in another video anyway <clears throat> that concludes my Dollar Tree haul if you like this video remember to comment thumbs up subscribe hit the little gray bell stay tuned for more videos and until next time goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land